Let me start off by reading you a comment left by a young viewer on my channel. Here he goes. Thank you for sharing these recordings. Most of us weren't even born then. I'd only heard from my father about great names like Gavaskar, Pataudi and Bedi and never watched them play. My father also mentioned that Eknath Solkar was one of the best fielders of his time. Do you happen to have and can you share any of the clips with Solkar's fielding or catching? I cannot say how delighted I am to see the millennial generation too on this channel. Here you go Chetan. It's folks like you we can count on to retell the wonderful history of the gentleman's game to the generations that will follow. Luis in the Bedi stranglehold. Panics, plays a wild shot. Solker, the super Solker, does it again. India back in the game like a whirlwind. Welcome aboard on the time machine. We are at the end of 1972 and the beginning of 73. We are ready to watch the highlights of the second test match between India and England at Eden Gardens, which is ebbing with over 70,000 people every day. And for those of you in a rush, a few delightful tidbits. Padika takes it out on Underwood, belting four fours in an over. Gavaskar shows what a fine technician he can be. Who's coming? The one and only Salim Durani. He starts with a flourish. Engineer knows these bowlers like the palm of his hand. They say he has flu. Fluent with flu is engine. Good morning, Mr. Knott, and good day it is. Engineer stumps not like Quicksilver. Durani in command making the bat look an extension of the arm. With poise and aptitude, he seizes the initiative. That's one shot Vishwanath can't cut out. Pocock can only despair at the way Vish cuts into size. Vish, who made 34, helped Durani add 71. It's now or never. Never has Bedi bowled better. The moment of reckoning is here. And here's the man of the moment. Not looking for runs. He sends Chandra soaring. The sky is beautifully judged by Durani. India wins the toss and elects to bat. The captain and vice-captain fall sick mercifully not on the same day. Towards the end of day one, India are in a bad shape with engineer batting at number seven, struggling, fighting off a bitter chill. And he recovers the next day to score a magnificent 73, the highest in the team. Later, when England batted, Wadekar falls sick and the sprightly engineer, his deputy, takes command of India. The wicketkeeper would exhibit a brisk air about him like someone who knew what he was doing. He would make up his mind quickly about fielding positions. He would walk between overs with a spring in his steps and he would juggle the bowling in a judicious manner. Standing right behind the stumps, he was in a vantage position to sense just when a bowler was beginning to tire. Chandra and Bedi maul the English batting and Prasanna Justifying his inclusion takes three valuable wickets. Salim Durani's inclusion in the team is hailed by the entire country. The handsome six-footer, known for delighting the crowd with his sixes, makes 53 at a critical stage. Vishwanath's brief but classy knock in the second innings is nothing short of a beautiful artwork. In a desperately close match where the balance would tip not every day but every hour, India finally wins and Eden Garden erupts with euphoria.
Padikas won the toss again. It's Gavaskar and Parker. Chris Old making his test debut in the Garden of Eden. Full of bounds is the youngest old in cricket history. Parker still to find his bearings in test cricket. Old has replaced Arnold who is unfit. At full stretch is Alan North. Underwood takes over as the wicket plays easy. Pocock completes the spin duet. Will Parker lower his guard? It's no go. Gavaskar shows what a fine technician he can be. Out goes Gavaskar, brilliantly caught by Old for 80. 29 for 1, in steps Vadeka. Parker still to come to terms with Old, his style cramped by an injury at the nets. Padeka finds the rhythm of his shots. Old as young Parker caught by Nott, Old's first wicket in test cricket. India 68 for 2. As a left-hander, Wadeka always did play Underwood well. Even a right-hander of vicious calibre found Underwood a problem at times. Wadeka hit in the ribs by Old when going exceedingly well. Down but not out. Wadeka takes it out on Underwood, belting four fours in an over. In comes Cotton to tempt Vishwanath to cut. Vish falls for the bait, Wood taking a dream catch at Gully. 78 for 3, Wish 3. Who's coming? The one and only Salim Durani. He starts with a flourish. The dilemma is to run or not to run. They finally run at 99. Lewis beats Wadeka to it. Wadeka run out 44 with 8 fours. Greg's on. Durani on dogged defence. He's out. Bold off stump by Greg for 4. 100 for 5. Old plays on Solker's weakness outside the off stump. Engineer's only weakness is for runs. Cotton is giving nothing away though. It's hard on the face of it. Solker's favourite car must be a left hand drive. Full 73,000 watch India finished the first day 148 for 5. Next day, Old with the new ball brings the ball up even on this docile wicket. Old crashes through Solkar's defence. 163 for 6, Solkar 19. A fine cricketer in the making is Chris Old. He bowls to Abid. Engineer knows these bowlers like the palm of his hand. They say he has flu. Fluent with flu is engine. Cotton produces the dream ball, a bailer to bowl Abid. 176 for 7, Prasanna back on the test scene. It's full steam ahead with engine. This is destined to be engineer's day. Just one of the 49 runs he hit this morning.
Kasana pulls his weight with a reflex action four. Golden shots are never repeated. He's LBW. 192 for nine with Bedi already run out for nil. Chandra not out one as Underwood bowls engineer middle stump. It is aggressive 75. Engineer helps India total 210. 210. Engineer leads way as Wadeka is running a temperature. The series still open. Some pace attack this. Hood and Amis meet the spinners early. Chandra joins Bedi and the battle begins. Wood, the mini boycott. Wood 11, Fletcher on tenter hooks. Amis, a fine driver of the ball. New brooms don't always sweep clean. A possible return catch, just possible. Amis, snapped up by Solka in the leg trap, 37 for 2. Fletcher goes for 16. Prasanna's 125th wicket in test, splendid catch by Gavaskar at short mid on. Skipper Lewis comes in with England, 47 for 3. Like the good sailor he is, Mike Dines is all at sea. The pull drive, Lewis tied. Lewis went LBW to BD, England 56 for 4. Another crisis for Tony Gregg. Gregg, a man of tremendous determination. It's that man, Chandra. Dinesh goes to what Solka considered his best catch of the series. Dinesh, 21. Engineer leading India with a warm personal touch. England, 84 for 5. Here they meet again, not and Chandra. Prasanna, bowling with all his old guile. Greg out for 29, caught by substitute Venkat at cover of Prasanna. England 117 for 6. Old 4, not 23, 126 for 6 at the end of the second day. Good morning, Mr. Knott, and good day it is. Engineer stumps not like Quicksilver. One forty-four for seven, not gone for thirty-five. Old, still very much there. Kasana bowls Pocock neck and crop. Underwood comes. Underwood goes one fifty-four for nine. How's that, umpire Reuben? Not that time, but this. Bottom LBW to Chandra. India lead by 36 runs. In come Gavaskar, Parker. Advantage, India. Advantage, England. Gavaskar out. LBW to Olds, fourth ball. Wadeker still ill, so Durani comes in, one down. Cotton finds Parker full of drive. Durani in command, making the bat look an extension of the arm. With poise and aptitude, he seizes the initiative. Old having an excellent first test, Durani in pain from a fall in the bathroom, has Gavaskar as runner. Parker falls to old, well held by Fletcher for 15.
That's one shot Vishwanath can't cut out. Pocock can only despair at the way Vish cuts him to size. There is breeding in his batting. Vish, who made 34, helped Durani add 71. Vish caught by Fletcher of old, 104 for 3. Fabulous catch by Fletcher to dismiss Durani. Durani 53, Sol Kain. 121 for 4 at close. Engineer out to Underwood for 17. Padeka in. India 133 for 5. Greg bowling extremely well. Shoka falls yet again outside the off stump. Padeka not too well, not at his best. Greg cuts one beautifully in. Padeka plumb leg before. 135 for 7. Padeka no score, India no show. Greg's already claimed Prasanna first ball. Abid is soon to fall to old. Chandra out. Greg four wickets for three runs this morning. Last six wickets gone for just 34 runs. Greg with five for 24 has given England a head start. England need 192 to win, Abhi to Wood. Here goes, Abhi bowls Wood. P for one as Fletcher steps in. The great psychological battle on again. Pedi to Amis. Abhi as Fletcher on edge. Can Fletcher overcome the Bedi bogey that has tormented all England? He can't. There he goes. LBW 8 for 2. There is no vice in the wicket. It's all a mental block. India's ray of hope. Bedi strikes. Up goes umpire Mamsa's finger, aim is out, caught by engineer for one, eleven for three. Lewis in. How's that for a catch, say Bedi and Gavaskar? It's no go. Lewis in the Bedi stranglehold, panics, plays a wild shot. Solker, the super Solker does it again. India back in the game like a whirlwind. Greg in, Bedi three wickets for four runs from 48 balls. What a spell he's cast on the English batsman. It's the Chandra phobia when it's not the Bedi bogey. Dines on defence. What England need is guts and Greg. They have him here batting with iron determination. One crowded hour of cricketing life. Greg shows his flair for the right gesture. Slowly but steadily, driver Greg steers England out of the great traffic jam. Durani lends a helping left hand. England a splendid recovery, 105 for 4. Greg 60, it's been his day. Is this Wadekar's day? England need only 87 to win. It's now or never. Never has Bedi bowled better. The moment of reckoning is here. And here's the man of the moment. Greg looks like assuming command. Has Bedi done India another good turn?
No, he's turned down. The big blow, Greg LPW to Chandra. Not lucky not to be caught in the act. Chandra demands all the skill Dinesh can command. There's been heavy dew overnight. Chandra's full of bounds. Not looking for runs. He sends Chandra soaring. This Kaya is beautifully judged by Durani. Not two. One one nine for six. And this test has taken another dramatic Durani turn. This test is a New Year thriller. Can Old and Dinesh save the day for England? They are up against it. The knockout blow. Dinesh LBW for 32. 123 for 7. 68 runs to go. 3 wickets to get. India in sight of a dramatic win. What can Pocock do where better batsmen have failed? Pocock goes, caught and bowled by Bedi. 130 for 8. Bedi in at the kill. 10th in is Underwood. Bedi feeds him with a 4. There, he has him brilliantly caught by Vadekar. Old is joined by last man Cotton. An appeal is an appeal is an appeal. Moments of nail-biting excitement as Cotton and Old proceed to narrow the gap. Chandra this morning has three wickets from 27 balls. Greg, Knott and Dinesh. Cotton spoons one up. Prasanna unable to make the catch. 159 for nine. A thunderous claim for a catch against Old by Abid. Umpire Ruben not to be browbeaten. Chandra has caught him LBW after lunch. Chandra 4 for 42. Bedi 5 for 63. India have squared the series. They have won by 28 runs. One of the most exciting tests of modern times. Let the crowd speak for itself. All in the game, a game that could so easily have been won by England instead of India. This Calcutta test was a thriller all the way with India winning in a photo finish. Once again our bowling and catching were superb but our batsmen let us down. They had virtually put us out of the game when Bedi so sensationally bowled us back into it. Engineer led the side well when Wadeker was indisposed. His 75 was the first turning point. The second was Durani's 53. The third, of course, Bedi's wonder spell of 3 for 4. For England, Greg once again led a master revival like the thoroughbred he is. But he was pipped on the post by Chandra. Heavy dew on the last morning made Chandra the kind of bogey Bedi had been the previous day for the English. Even so, we just made it. England would very likely have clinched the series if they had won here.